Faith comes by hearing, and hearing the Word of God. You're listening to The Moment of Power with Azano Eddie Thompson. Daily audio devotions to energize your day, presented by the Advent Hero Ministries. Our Moment of Power topic today is Blessings of Godliness and Kindness. And if thou draw out thy soul to the hungry, and to satisfy the afflicted soul, then shall thy light rise in obscurity, and thy darkness as the noonday. Isaiah 58 verse 10. God challenges his people in Isaiah 58 to practice true religion that is characterized with love and compassion for the less fortunate rather than engaging in fasting and long and loud prayers in open places and still be remaining in their wickedness. This is why he said, quote, Is not this the fast that I have chosen? To lose the band of wickedness, to undo the heavy burdens, and to let the oppressed go free, and that ye break every yoke? Is it not to do thy bread to the hungry, and that thou bring the poor that are cast out into thy house? When thou seest the naked, that thou cover him, and that thou hide not thyself from thy flesh? Unquote. Isaiah 58, verses 6 and 7. The above passage we just read bears resemblance to Christ's words in Matthew 25, in which he says that we will be judged based on how we treat the least of his brethren who are homeless, hungry, in prison, sick, etc. If our religion makes us care only for ourselves, it is not the religion of Christ, the Christ who went about doing good, healing all that we oppress, the Christ who left heaven and came to this dark and dreary world to redeem our souls, to sacrifice his life and everything for us. James the Apostle wrote, quote, Pure religion and undefiled before God and the Father is this, to visit the fatherless and widows in their affliction, and to keep himself unspotted from the world. Unquote James 1.27 So what blessing accompanies such godly and compassionate lives? Isaiah tells us, Quote, then shall thy light break forth as the morning, and thy health spring forth speedily, and thy righteousness shall go before thee. The glory of the Lord shall be thy reward. Then shalt thou call, and the Lord shall answer. Thou shalt cry, and he shall say, Here I am. If thou take away from the midst of thee, the yoke, the putting forth of the finger, and speaking vanity. And if thou draw out thy soul to the hungry, and satisfy the afflicted soul, then shall thy light rise in obscurity, and thy darkness shall be as the noonday. And the Lord shall guide thee continually, and satisfy thy soul in drought, and make fat thy bones. And thou shalt be like a watered garden, and like a spring of water whose water fail not. Unquote Isaiah 58, 8-11. Friend, the word of the Lord is clear to you today. Lasting blessings with no sorrows attached come only from the Lord. In the inspired words of the Apostle James, quote, Every good gift. And every perfect gift is from above and cometh down from the Father of lights. Unquote. James 1 17. These blessings of health and prosperity of all kinds come to those who practice true religion, as we have seen. If I may ask, what kind of religion do you practice? This has nothing to do with what denomination you belong or, 
or something. It has to do with whether you have a living connection with the compassionate Christ. Is it the kind of religion condemned in Isaiah 58, the kind that involves wickedness and oppression while you continue your prayers and fasting? Or is it the one that God recommended that goes with compassion and kindness and liberality? It is the latter that yields or brings the sure blessings of God to our lives. As you imitate Christ today in going out and putting a smile on people's face, as you meditate on his word today, may your heart be filled with the compassion of Christ. May his love transform your soul and every vestige of wickedness disappear from your soul. May his blessings of Isaiah 58 be your portion. This is the moment of power. Have a blessed day in Jesus' name. Amen.